Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. Everybody, welcome to another episode of the Dubcast Podcast. Today we welcomed on a very special guest, Alex055. Alex was one of my favorite guests that we've had on. He when we met back five months ago, he had just four thousand followers on Twitter. He's grown to over thirty thousand. Um, and he was very transparent and honest, telling his whole backstory, you know, ups and downs. And handicapping, ups and downs in life in general. I know you guys will appreciate his transparency, his honesty. Um, he's a fantastic guy, so I'm really excited for you guys to take a listen. Alex, what's going on, my friend? Hey, everything's going good. Uh, it's finally a long time coming. You know, it's been a long time coming. You know, it, it, the hype behind this and me, it being my first time, I'm really excited to do this. We are thrilled to have you on. It, it's been a while since we last spoke. I, I first met you what, probably six months ago, and you had 5,000 followers on Twitter, and um, you've come a long ways, man. I'm super happy for you and excited for you, and looking forward to see what the future holds. Definitely, man. I mean, speaking on to that, yeah, like six months ago, I, like seeing where I was then to where I am now, it's just, you can't make it up. Like, every day I'm very grateful. You know, I thank God every day. I thank my fans, my, my supporters, my family, everybody, because, like, you know, without them, I, I couldn't be in this position, but... It feels like a dream, like come true. You know what I mean? It's crazy. A hundred percent. That's one of my favorite parts about you is you're you're so humble and and, and down to earth and um, you know appreciative. Just it, it's amazing what you've built so far. And so let's let's dive right into it. I want to hear kind of your story from start yeah. to finish and um, really just generally speaking in in life, but also in handicapping yeah, and how you yeah, found yeah. gambling Twitter. But yeah. uh, well. I want to say going back to like 2018 when I first started uh, betting or getting into betting, uh, I started with DraftKings. Like, you're familiar with DraftKings? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I started with uh, them and I did it for about a year, but it wasn't for me. Uh, just came up with all the lineups and, you know, I didn't really make major profit on it. I only made like 100 bucks. I want to say like on profit on it. So it just wasn't worth my time, I felt like. And so I stopped betting for like a year. I was just working at a factory job at Amazon. And so I was just doing that. I mean, I also, during that time, I was in the Navy. So that's like a whole other situation. But I was in the Navy. Oh, um, my gosh. Yeah. I, I didn't in, even realize that. Yeah, I was in the Navy for four years in the reserve. So, you know, I was doing that as well, you know. But uh, that was kind of when I was done with my uh, training and everything, you know, when I came back. And I started getting into betting. But then after that, uh, I met a, an ex at Amazon. We moved to Sacramento. And that's when I found Price Picks. I was working over there. And I was on over there and I found price picks. And then I started like anybody else would on it. I was doing like, I was trying to go for the big money, doing like four pick powers, you know what I mean? I ended up losing like 500 bucks trying to do that. And then I finally had like the right idea to just do two pick powers, you know, increase my chances <laughs> of hitting. And then before I know it, I'm like, I turned 100 into like 3,000 in one month. And then that's when I knew, okay, there's, there's something here. There's something, I can do something with this, you know what I mean? And from then on, it just went crazy. But speaking a little bit on the personal side, um, the reason why, like, you know what I mean? Even though I made that amount of money and that, that's kind of what started my journey on bidding, I've also dealt with a lot of personal stuff in my personal life, you know, going from the breakup with my ex, you know, it was such like a bad breakup, not to get too personal into it, but it was something that changed my life because there were so many things that happened in that situation that really changed me as a person, you know what I mean? It really uh, opened my eyes um, to how, like, you know, you know, you can really affect another person's life, you know what I mean, if you make the wrong decision. So, you know, that and, and on top of, you know, uh, when I, when that happened, the breakup happened, I moved out and I got my own place. And that wasn't even the best situation for me because I was by myself. I was very isolated. So going through all that and having those, you know, thoughts of, you know, those stark thoughts, you know what I mean? Because you just, I was isolated. I'd have, like, no social interaction besides my family. And going through that, all that really just like opened my eyes up into being a better person and being like a more forgiving and being grateful, you know, for for everything because you know it could really. I've seen like the worst of it, and you know, I'm happy that where I am, but I also want to you know help people, you know, financially and help people that are going through things that that I went through or worse things. You know what I mean? So it's more about betting, like you said. You know, going on to this, is I actually really want to help people with betting, but I also want to help change people's lives you know what I mean and spread a positive message that's what's so cool about you and your whole story just is 
your transparency with your following. And yeah. that's, you know, in handicapping, but also in life in general. And you're yeah, not yeah, afraid yeah. to speak to them on an individual basis. Um, you're very welcoming to new conversations. And I, I, I know that, you know, if you have a follower who's going through a tough time, you're not afraid to reach out and go back and forth with them and give them words of motivation. And so that's what I think is so cool about you is it's beyond just, it's not just a sports handicapping thing. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, just, you know, it's like a life, life in general. Life, yeah, in general, yeah. because I feel like, you know, I'm 23 and people talk to me and they're like, no way you're 23, you know, and they're surprised. And it's, and it's not because like I try to act more mature, but it's, I've been through a lot in life, you know, and I feel like, the more you go through in life, you know, the more you learn from it and more you experience it and you know how to handle certain situations or you know how to, you know, go about it in a better way. So I feel like I just want people to, you know, experience life more as much as you can because that's very important, you know what I mean? I feel like nowadays everybody's yeah. just staying inside and on the you know, phone and you have to go through life, you know, in order to be a better you. Absolutely, man. You're wise beyond your years. You're... Mm -hmm. You know, you've had the up, you've had the downs. You're not afraid to share those with folks. You're not afraid to be, you know, an, an open ear for folks to reach out to you Definitely. and really learn from you. And, and and as your following has has grown, so have your number of impressions. And so you're you're making an impact on other people's lives in in a lot of ways. And <laughs> and one of them is by helping them put more money in their pocket. <laughs> I try. I try. So yeah. <laughs> that's been a that's been a fun, you know, roller coaster ride oh, yeah. for you, I'm sure, going from losing money initially to uh, now becoming one of the marquee names in, in the prize picks world. So I, I would love to hear how you find profit on a board. I, you know, I see yeah. winning slips day after day from you. Um, what does your daily process look like when, okay. when you're building a yeah. slip? I'll try not to say it like too much because, like, you know what I mean? I try to keep that, you know. Low key, because yeah. obviously, you know what I mean? You gotta keep the secret yeah. sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll definitely, you know, give a little bit about it. But, um, but like I said, I want to also put this out. Uh, I don't win every day. Like, you know what I mean? In betting, nobody's going to win every day. So, like, when everybody, any person tries to, like, you know, show or expose me or try to say, oh, he doesn't win every day, like, I'm gladly willing to, you know, commentate on that. That's fine. You know, I just I want the people out there to know, like, betting isn't, like, a win every day type of thing. You have your good days and you have your bad days. So, it's just... You know, you, you have to just go in with that mindset of, you know, you're going to have good days and bad days. So I just don't want to get that out of the way because people just seem to think that I win all the time. I win more than I lose, but I don't win all the time. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, nobody does. They call yeah. it they call it gambling for a reason. Exactly. exactly. It's a, every day to gamble. <laughs> exactly. But uh, going on to, you know, my process, I mean, really, before I was just like the early bird, I was like, we got to get in, you know, we got to get in the early lines, you know, when they have good value. You know what I mean? And. That still works for a lot of people, but after time, I was just like, there's no point in getting up early and trying to get like value, you know, as they call it. And, and then some something get something else happens, like another person gets ruled out, and then this changes the whole slate. So it's just like now the, the thing that I do, I just a lot of people like even in the in my premium give me flack about it because they're like, you know what I mean. And I'm, I'll work on it, but I, I wait like an hour or two before game time. And then that's when I make the plays and stuff like that because that's when we know all the news. We know all the injury news. We know who's in or who's out more more than likely. And that all those things affect the game. So you have to know all those things. So, but they, they get mad because they're just like honestly they they're doing stuff too as well. So they're like we got to get the plays early. You know? <laughs> so it's a thing that I'm working on. But yeah, like that's one of the process. And I'm also uh, I just made a new partnership with the Hall of Fame Bets. Uh, and they're like a new research tool. So I'm using them as well. And it's, it's been amazing. They have like different uh, categories and stuff like that. It's really helped the process. So that's, that's another tool that I use as well every day. You know what I mean? So that helps a lot. Yeah, that that's fantastic. And these, these tools, you know, there are a bunch of different ways to use them. And it seems exactly. like you've mastered <laughs> the art yeah. of, uh, of collecting information from here, yeah. and information from there, and, and really gathering like a wide yeah, knowledge there's, base there's another app called line star you know i'm pretty sure people in the betting community know what that is so there's just different apps that you know i help people introduce that helps you research better and helps you look at things easier versus having to manually yeah. do it you know in terms of finding value that's a word that you used earlier is, is there one sport in particular that you really enjoy handicapping more than others or that you feel like there's more value to be had or mm -hmm. or do you kind of view every sport as a potential candidate for for a play in a given day i mean it could be i mean it just depends on what you're knowledgeable about i mean it's very hard to be knowledgeable about every sport because 
again, there's so much in you know, the rules and there's so much things that every sport is unique. You know what I mean? So, I mean, for the people that know every sport that, you know, for them, definitely they'll be able to find a bunch of value. You know what I mean? But the, the less sports that you know, the less value you'll be able to find. You know, so I know NBA, football, I mean, NFL and WNBA, you know what I mean? So I know a little bit of, you know, sports that will carry me to enough value. But the more sports you know, is the more better value you can get. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm trying to learn more. I'm trying to learn baseball. I'm trying to branch out. Like, and it's very hard, you know what I mean? Because college basketball, I don't know how people do that. You have people coming in and out, and it's just like, how do you even learn how to do that? Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. You know, people find ways. So you just got to find, you know, you just got to research and find the way. Next, I want to talk about the community that you've built, and it it's, can be seen in your following on Twitter, it can be seen in your Discord server, mm-hmm. and then as much as anything, it can be seen in your price point. You have an incredibly affordable price point, and I know that you do that by design mm-hmm. because you want to give everybody access to Definitely, this community. Yeah. And so I, just, I would love for you to touch upon how you value community in, in the gambling world in general and, and in your life. Uh, community is very important to me. Like, so my uh, family, um, family is like the number one thing for me. Like, you know what I mean? When I had nobody, when I was in my darkest points, I had my family. And so, for me, like, community is very important to me. So when I was making like the price point, I was like, in my mind, I was thinking how hard it is to live today in this generation because of all the bills that we have and everything's going up in price. Like, I know how hard it is to just try to survive on a factory job. Like, you know what I mean? And a lot of people, like, I mean, that's the only option they have. So. You know, I was, you know, I always keep that in mind. Like I try to make it affordable to people, and you know, I always try to just, you know, help them in terms of like don't bet what you can afford. You know what I mean? You don't have to. You see me betting as much as I do, but again, I had to work my way up to that point. It just didn't come overnight, and a lot of people seem to think that, and they try to do that overnight, and it's not an overnight thing. It's something that you got to work your way up to. So I always try to help them with that as well. I wish I was more active in my uh, premium Discord. I try to be as active as I can be, but. Again, as things continue to rise, obligations, you know, elsewhere have to be met. So, like, I try to be as active as I can be everywhere. But, like I said, you know, time and certain different, you know, business aspects that I'm trying to do take up my time. So, hopefully, and that's the main thing I like to, you know, this summer I'm going to, my uh, premium, I'm going to be doing, like, daily uh, two-hour classes where you can see me. We can all have, like, a conversation, like like a classroom. Like, we can talk about life. We can talk about betting. We can talk about women men like women issue and men issues like everything you know what i mean like there's no you know whatever you're going through whatever you need help on you know i feel like i've gone a lot through life you know and there's things that i still want to learn so people of older age can help me you know can help them you know so it's just i want something where we can build a community where we can help each other and be positive about it you know i see it in the betting community there's very negative aspects about it that's the one thing i don't like you know because i mean it's you know unless you're doing like draftings or something like that. It's us versus the house. It's not us versus each other. You know what I mean? So that I just want it to be more positive. And for me, I mean, I'm gonna try to help the bidding community be more positive. But obviously, you can't help everybody. So I mean, I just want to make sure my community is positive. Up first. That's place. beautiful. Re- re- really well said. I-, I don't know how much more I can, you know, build off <laughs> of that. I think yeah. one thing one thing that you touched upon is just the educational aspect and mm-hmm. you know looking at your feed and and being in your server that's one of the coolest parts about what you do is is you answer every question and and you your goal is to educate people and mm-hmm. help them find ways to profit on their own. I mean, you could just keep all your secrets to yourself yeah, and you say, know, "Hey, yeah, you know, uh, this it's mm-hmm. five bucks to be in my community." Or you could teach them, and, exactly, and what you yeah. do. You, you, no. you I want people them. to like learn how to bet. You know what I mean? And, and you know, if they know how to do it on their own, they don't no longer need my service. Like that's perfectly fine with me because I've have enough money to where like you know I can do good without premium. You know what I mean? But again, it's all about helping them and hopefully they learn how to bet, so they don't no, no longer need to pay people in the future. They know what to do. You know? Absolutely. And you touched upon something earlier, and it was going to be one of the questions I wanted to ask you was, mm-hmm. what do you feel like you learned the most over the course of the last year and a half? And it can be sports betting related on how you've grown into a more profitable handicapper because, you know, as time has gone on, I see more and more winning slips from you. And so mm-hmm. you've clearly sharpened your skills and gotten better 
Um, but as you said yourself, there's also been a lot of life aspects that have gone on that seem to have sharpened your skill set and mm. life in general as well. So um, is there anything in particular that you feel like has really greatly contributed to your your growth over the course of the last year or so? Uh, I want to say just um, experiencing life more in general. As you know, the money continues to grow, I've gotten to experience more life and I've been in more situations, good and bad. Um, but you know that aspect is it just helps me grow and helps me be more mature. You know, with you know different people. You know what I mean? Uh, and again, like you know, there's people that are older than me, and you know, I see how they move, and it's crazy to me how you can be you know that age and still act like you know you're you know still 15 or 16. You know what I mean? And it's you know things like that though. You know what I mean? I've I've, I've gotten to experience people like that, and it, just life in general as well as betting. I mean, betting has always been pretty good to me. I've always been able to, you know what I mean? Is, is, I mean, it's been growing and it's been doing good, but I mean, that's never been an issue with me where I've, I mean, I've had maybe losing streaks, but nothing to where, you know, I can't keep making profit. So that's been great. Um, but yeah, just overall, everything taken into account, it just made me more, uh, just a more forgiving person and trying to spread as positive, more, more positivity as I can. And, you know, my, me, myself, I'm getting closer with, you know, God and, you know, you know, as like I said, I'm thanking them every day and I'm going to church more often. That's one thing I want to, you know, preach to people. I mean, not really. I mean, everybody can make their own decisions. But for me, you know, I, I want, you know, if you if you do believe in God, I would want you to, you know, get close to him and go to church, you know, every, at least every other Sunday. You know what I mean? And, and stuff <laughs> like that. So, you know, you don't got to go every Sunday. But every other Sunday and, you know, and because for me, that's really, really helped me as well. Like, it's helped me, you know, I've made a lot of bad decisions in my past and it's taken time to for, you know, forgive myself. But through the help of God, you know what I mean? I've been able to, you know, work on it and, you know, slowly forgive myself. Not forgive myself completely, but slowly, you know, I'll get there. You know, stuff like that is all just attributed to how I look at life and how I present myself on a day-to-day basis. That's the the most impressive part, I think, just and I think what subscribers and and followers of yours across all your social media accounts are going to really enjoy is just Mm -hmm. you just talk straight from your heart. You know, there's no uh, there's no fakeness. There's no phony. The reason I do that is because, I mean, again, the day and age that we live, everybody likes to expose somebody or everybody likes to I like to, you know, I don't like to put everything out there, but I like to put the genuine parts about me out there because at the end of the day, I have things that. You know, my actions speak to themselves, basically. So I like to get it all out in the open. So no matter how vulnerable or how soft I look or whatever the make, the case may be, you can't say I wasn't 100%, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Alex, it's been a true pleasure talking to you. Um, and, and I can't wait for your fans, for your followers, for your <laughs> subscribers to see this. I know that they're going to thoroughly enjoy it. Yeah, they're going to enjoy so. getting to know so. you. And you gotta you gotta send me that link when you start these educational seminars. I might <laughs> definitely, be- <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm gonna need assistance. It's gonna be crazy. You're gonna, you're gonna have assistance and everything. <laughs> Your people are gonna love it, and they're gonna love to get to know you on an individual basis. And you've really built such a welcome community that I think a lot of people already do feel like they know you, but um, they'll be able to interact with you and, and learn from you and grow with you. So. Once again, I really appreciate you taking some time today, and I can't wait for this to get out to the public because I know everybody's going to really enjoy it. All right, man. Thank you. I appreciate you know for you having me on, and it's my first time doing a podcast. I hope it went well, but regardless, you know, I, I, as long as I got you know what I needed to say out, and like I said, you're amazing as well. So again, I appreciate you for you know making my first time the best time. I hope that didn't sound wrong, you know. Here comes the money. <laughs>